Hello everyone and welcome to Suburban Stone Age. Today's video is an update on our dirt fort and I wanted to show you the progress on the walls. So last spring through um, winter we were able to get on a thin layer over all of the walls ahead of winter. We took a winter hiatus and now we're building up the wall thickness to its full strength. You can see that we're adding an extra six to eight inches of mud around the outside. And this is to give it that final insulation from the heat ahead of summertime. That extra thickness makes a big difference. The outside temperature of the walls, let's see. That's 131 degrees on the thin layer. Let's go check the inside approximately the same spot on the inside reads about 99 degrees. Also, if you measure lower down where the wall is thick, you get a reading of 92 degrees and even lower where it's the thickest, it's about 78 degrees. So this shot is showing you about the height of where the improvements have gone to. So we'll measure the temperature on the inside of the fort to where it's thickest and thinnest to show you the difference on the inside wall temperature, how much that additional mass makes on the walls. So again, down at the bottom where it's the thickest, it's 78 degrees. And if we go up to the top where it's still thin, that reading is 101 degrees. So it's about 22 degrees, 25 degrees difference that that extra six to eight inches of mud makes in resisting the heat. There's still a lot to do. For example, this is the side view and this is where the thin shell is. This is as far as I was able to get before it started raining last winter. So this whole side will need to be um, thickened up with mud and around the back side too where the window is will also need to be reinforced. It's pretty thin here. Um, however, this side probably won't need to be as thick as the sides that get direct sunlight all day long. But we'll see how it goes. We'll take measurements and we will find out. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys will come along uh, on my adventures on improving this fort and just testing in real life how functional and durable, inexpensive, available, and um, just kind of beautiful. They're beautiful buildings. Um, these earthen buildings are. There's only one way to know and that's to build one for yourself. So I hope you'll join me and we could test it together and see if this ancient technology stands up to our modern life. Talk to you soon. Bye.